you guys just saw OB13 just ended. You saw it was crazy, the big orange popsicle run around the roads. Big old dually, giant truck. We decided we'd done like seven duallys in a row, so we give you guys a cool little opportunity to get a single rear wheel set up right now. Look at that. 14th, own boss of Plecos, 14th giveaway ever. Dude, just roll the B-roll, this is so sick. Okay. All blacked out 2022 low trail 25 foot gooseneck whoa 25 25 foot gooseneck wait this happened last time <laughs> it's 20 foot deck with five foot what does it say mitch that little green sticker back there max, max ramps. ramps oh wait max ramps <laughs> not mega ramps max ramps with the max step the stickers are on there as you guys know low trail is my favorite trailer brand we visited them in texas it's very very cool i saw how these whole trailers are manufactured and how they're powder coated and the whole process of how these trailers are actually made. Let me tell you what, the, um, holy shit, first of all. Second of all, the quality control that these guys lay out for a simple, something as simple as a trailer is pretty astounding. Like, they have a giant facility and I don't know how many hundreds of acres and a bunch of different factories for every like layout they have like goosenecks and normal trailers. Okay, whatever. Either way, I went through the whole facility in Texas, toured the whole thing, and let me tell you what, there's a reason my intuition was right. There's a reason I like Low Trail because their quality is just, you can't get a better trailer. You can't, there's not a better one to get. So um, this is a 2022 brand new trailer we bought, got shipped, actually we picked it up from Texas ourselves, stacked three high, brought it back here. And what we do Mitch, well actually we didn't do much to this trailer besides put rock lights on it. This is already a black trailer from the factory. So it's factory powder coat um, and the factory rubberized decking on there. So we used to burn the, uh, we used to burn the decks and we don't do that anymore. Um, one, because people are copying us, they got annoying. <clears throat> Two, rubberized decking is absolutely the best thing to have on a trailer because... Sorry, sorry Frank! <laughs> yeah, 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 for a reason. <laughs> All right, man, next time, see ya. What was I saying? I have no idea. <laughs> um, so, the rubberized deck. Sorry, guys. See what I have to deal with? This is, I have ADHD, boys. I can't be doing this all the time. All right. Rubberized decking is the best thing for a trailer for multi whatever you're using it for, most likely. I mean, wood is really cool. It looks cool. You can restain it. You can resand it, whatever you want. Rubberized decking, you really can't. When it goes bad, it goes bad. But it's cool for equipment. When you're slamming stuff on here and you have different things that are jabbing into the wood, it's a lot less likely to make it snap, fray, and chew up. It's easy. So, 20 foot deck. Five foot mega ramps and total length of 25 feet of a 2022 brand new low trail gooseneck. Powder coated factory, factory rubberized floors, and then we swapped out the stock tires because they're kind of F rating, F range, um, aftermarket tires, and they're cool. So there's a the trailer, very basic. We give them away every single time. You guys know what they are, they're very good trailers. So right behind me, you guys, uh, <laughs> as you can tell, it's not a cat. It has cat in the name though, but also Bob. We did just hire a Bob. We did. Play Bob and then play Cat. I have experience with my prior jobs. Basically, what I did was I run a cruise, I ran mini excavators, excavators, skid steers, low everything, right? And I mainly worked with John Deere and Bobcat. Not too much Cat. I'm a big fan of Bobcat and John Deere. Some of you guys aren't, but a lot of you are because you asked for it. And we finally delivered with a 2018 T650 Bobcat. And it looks pretty stock. Because it is, but we did we did kind of a, an own boss touch on it. A normal bobcat you get, you're basically getting all the black you see in there, all you just, this kind of gray-ish color, kind of like, it looks very commercialized gray. It's very cheap, you can tell, like, it's just very cheap gray. No glitter, no, no, no nothing in there, right? It's just like, boom, gray. That's what this machine is. So basically, everything black was gray. All the pistons, all the, the whole entire cab, the arms, the bottom, the tracks, everything was gray. The back door was orange. This bottom plate was orange. And uh, I believe that might have been it for the oranges, okay? So what we did, we stormtrooped the whole entire machine, which I think is very sick. It's very simple, very cool. We could have painted some crazy ass color, but we didn't stuck it. Like, it's basically a factory OEM plus bobcat. So it's not too flaunty, not too crazy. So basically, we repainted the entire machine, the flat, frosty kind of white that bobcat has. We added a little bit of pearl in there. All the whites, brand new white. Back door, instead of orange, is not black cab is black the windows are black the tracks are black brand new tracks on this machine as well um 
And yeah, the, the machine has 1,100 hours on, I believe. I think a lot, yeah. yeah. 1,100 hours on the machine, it's 2018, and I'm telling you right now, T-50s get down, baby. I have a T-870 personally, that's a big boy, the big, big bad Bobcat, and this is the mini version of that machine, and this thing works, I'll tell you right now. So, so far, boys, <clears throat> we got a 22 low trail gooseneck and a 2018 Bobcat T-650, okay? Coming down the line, this is old boss, like the decals, all the machines and the equipment, and then, Come on, Mitch. Now here, here's something I like. This is called my spec. This thing is, well, I guess it was red, It'd be my spec, but I really a big fan of this truck. So let me just visualize for you guys real quick. Ready? So right here is a F250 Platinum. It is, uh, <laughs> and it's done up, but it's not done up too much. It's sitting on some pretty badass parts. So let me go through this real quick so I can show you guys how this build went, kind of went through and why i'm a big fan of this one because it's very simplistic and very like this is probably our best workshop we've had yet if you guys want a more of a uh a work off-roading setup than a super cool fancy work setup because all of our setups they're workable i mean we don't do we do things like to the line but we don't go over that line of being ridiculous so like we like we lift the trucks we're like a four inch so if we're not doing a six inch because it's not really capable of going on any angles with the gooseneck just smash the tailgate in so we keep it at a four inch even though we really want to do a six inch we don't so for this we listen to you guys you said dude the truck's too big the offset's too much there's not enough tire da, 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 da. We got you dude check us out f250 platinum paint match more moto headlights they're really really sick and everything on this truck has been paint matched the paint matching is so good everything has been sanded and painted over correctly and it's just it's very good man so paint match grill paint match headlights paint match fog light surrounds Pay match two wheel drive valance in the bottom. So it's the four wheel drive one hanging out of here. We got two wheel drive one. And I paint it as well. It looks very, very good. Mirrors, stand in paint match. It's very, very like. You see how smooth that is? Smooth. I don't know what uh I believe these are recon um side marker lights, side mirror lights. Recon paint matched side marker mirror lights. <laughs> I don't know what they're really called. Um pay match badging. So you can see that word there. My favorite platinum right there. Yes, sir. Paint match lettering, paint match badges. Everything on this truck is paint match and it's done the right way. It's like, it just looks so good. It's done properly. The wheel tire setup on this truck is very, personally, if you hear me out, I think this has become the new trend because the big wheels and tires are kind of getting boring. It's, it's starting to become like the method, big tire, small wheel deal. And I like it a lot more because it's a lot more usable. <laughs> like you can go over curbs, you can hit stuff, you're good. You're not gonna pop this, you can get a nail in your tire, you're good. You have so much sidewall. So, 20 by 10 method race wheel on a 37 by 1350 Niddle Ridge the best tire on the face of the earth. Like this is the best tire you can get on a truck and find a giveaway truck. Supporting wheel and tires, King. You know how sick King with the external reservoirs are? Best shock system, I don't even know, the best thing ever. There's a two and a half inch King leveling kit on this truck, but it's not just a base leveling kit, it has external reservoirs as well. So if you get down there, maybe you look at it. I drove this thing in the rain a couple a couple days ago, so it's not the prettiest out here right now. And I should have cleaned it up, but oops. Um, but you can see the system is just, it's very simple. Like, there's nothing crazy going on, but it's just, it rides so good. It, it's kind of unbelievable, actually. So, um, from the side of it, paint matched, paint matched. So, door handles paint matched. You have own boss plaque on the, on the side. I debadged it from the external logos and put a decal because I thought it was cool. If you don't like, you can go to Amazon and buy the logos for like $30. I, I took them off because it looks different to me. I don't know. The rear of the truck. I was saying how everything's not paint matched. Like literally everything is paint matched. So you know how these come to the factory, uh, that, that gritty plastic, I don't know, factory, right? Well, we don't want to be super factory around here and it's not the best thing for work, but and honestly, like I've stepped in this multiple times and I don't see a single foot scratch in here. This is my sand down, paint matched to match the truck and I think it ties in with the tailgate. So this tailgate cover has been paint matched and then obviously gloss black platinum logo inside of it. Even the little door handle up here where you pop this off right here and it's been paint matched as well. This uses a chrome, now it's white. Tail lights left alone. Um, obviously there's DEF, and, I mean a DPF and EGR system still on the truck, so that's not touched. Um, for the rear end of the truck, as per usual, we don't do too, too much. I mean, you're not putting a coilover in this truck. It has a gooseneck on it, so you can't be too ridiculous. So it has an Airlift 5000 series airbag system on it that's Bluetooth controlled, and it's sick nasty. Like, every truck gets airbags now, because oh, you don't have an airbag on a truck that has a gooseneck on it. Put airbags on the truck if you're gonna haul with it. Thank you. Stabilize your shit. Yes, sir. Come on. Uh, um, you forgot something. Third brake tail light. Oh, Mitchell. Did I? Do? Oh, paint match third brake tail light took one. 
Now Boss Truck Customs, little decal in there, plus the own boss. That's right, we build trucks too, so if you want to get your truck built, hit us up. So there's the exterior of the truck. So this is the interior of a Platinum F250 with the reddish, brownish interior. My favorite interior, it looks amazing. It's not too red, it's not too brown, it's not gross. Like, some of the brown interiors are very gross. This is not. This is one of the best ones they've ever made. I don't know why they stopped doing it. Basically, we have a camera system on this truck, which is a 360-degree camera. So basically all the cameras, it's looking like shit on the camera. Why is it looking like that? Oh, it's a little, maybe a little dirty. Um, 360 cam, so you can see all around and behind you, and you can play with some of the different front end ones and hill descent control, which is really cool. So when you're going on a hill with a load, it kind of breaks for you and you don't have to deal with it. It's kind of a uh, FX4, like little deal, hazard lights, um, traction control on, off, and then your engine brake, which you want automatic, or you can do um, just a standard all the time on engine brake which is really cool um going through over here heated cooled dual climate controls right here so you know when you're super hot and your girl's freezing you can just crank her side up and click that button right there on her her little butt and you can stay nice and cold over here you know what i mean um here's your uh here's your trailer braking system right there really cool you can adjust the gain you can manually slam it down if you want so on and so forth four wheel drive and then you can lock your diff by pulling it out and having a differ differential locker, which is cool. Little 12 volt with the plug, little hidden storage up there, which is really cool. Glove box, um, little storage up there. You get your auxiliaries all in there, which is really sweet. And then you have your nice little window, or window, sunglass holder, uh, visors, everything is like super nice. Dual panel sunroof, really, really cool. And then I don't think this truck has a safe in here. No, it doesn't. Um, so the truck's coming safe. I don't like them though. Um, got you open this up and you have more USBs and stuff like that. And then you come over here and you can see the truck has 52,000 miles on it. I'm gonna play with some of the settings real quick. So you get your average fuel mile, mile per gallon, your PPMS sensors, blah, 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 your speed, you can get navigation compass, fuel stuff. You can get this is where all your truck info is at. So you can see like your trans temp, you can get your DPF fluid, you got tire pressure bunch of engine info, idle hours, stuff like that, really cool. Bunch of towing settings, you set up the trailer for it, you can do it. Um, Off-road stuff that no one probably ever uses. And then, you know, you have a bunch of uh, more options, like pre, this thing has like pre-collision assist stuff, so like someone comes up and wants to hit you, slam the brakes, your truck will alert you with this little dash right here. You also have, obviously in the mirrors, you have the uh, little blind spot indicators and stuff like that. Um, this truck does have ambient lighting, I mean, you can really see it. But this, this truck does have ambulant. got the whole thing. You can change it in the dash. Uh, da -da -da -da, ambulating, boom. And you can pick your colors you want. I want purple. Cool. Change the purple. Sweet. Um, but yeah, so there's all that. You climate control. Oh, you also have massaging seats. But on the side of the seat. And it pops up with massaging. Really, really cool. And yeah, man. So truck is very nice in here. Um, my favorite interior, like by far, in the pickup truck. This is just, It just works. And it's super, super comfortable. Can't argue. This is the best seats in the industry. Every single truck, the best ones. But yeah, so here's the here's the interior of the uh, Platinum. And I'm going to hop out and go into this. Let's get serious now, boys. Also has side steps on it, which is pretty cool. Factory OEM auto steps. Very, very sick. All right, boys. Hopping in the T650. In the T650, I'm very familiar with Bobcats. Basically, these are really, really cool machines. Big fan of them. Everything's done between the screen right here. So you can check all your your maintenance and your RPMs, your oil temps, your hydraulic temps, hydraulic pressures. There it is. All that stuff can be seen when the motor is running. I don't think starting is going to be way too loud in here. Um, everything is right there to be shown. Fuel gauge, everything. Left side, or sorry, fuel gauge is over here. That's all like, well, actually your fuel gauge is in here, but it's not showing. You can This display is completely um, interchangeable. You can move everything around, customize it. Really, really cool. Over here, hours, 11 55.7 fuel gauge analog and analog um you know thermostat gauge you have all your lights up here your lighting you know front lights or actually front lights and then you click once again it's rear lights your auto um rpm auxiliary hydraulic pressures and then that one's information of some sort i don't know when you get in the machine like hop in door open you put this thing down boom and then you hit the screen button which unlocks the parking um, switch and uh, allows your hydraulics to actually move around. Uh, you, you get stuck in here, you can blow these things off right here, boom, boom, blow them off, your windows, and yeah, man, skylight. And this actually looks like this dude has a, oh, it's an antenna for the radio. 
So you got a radio right here, actually. Really, really cool. Um, jam out, heat, AC, and um, it has the automatic, like, bobcat wedges is what they call them. But basically, they're just your lockers and unlockers for your buckets. ISO and H pattern, basically, uh, it's really cool with the bobcat that you can switch them. So if you don't like ISO, ISO is basically just a control form of how you move the machine around. Flick of the switch, you can change the whole hydraulics around. Very sick, by the way. So yeah, man, I'm not the best at explaining stuff because you get too hyper, but here's the piece of machinery. It's in great condition. It will make you a shit ton of money if you can, uh, if you can figure out how to make money with it. So let me just give you guys a rundown real quick. A Platinum F250 with like 50,000 miles on it. We have a 2022 brand new low trail goose neck. A 2018 Bobcat T650 with 1,100 hours on it. And then we have 30,000 hours in cash that you could win. So the truck is done up, the trailer is brand new with rock lights on it and a few different things, but nothing crazy. And the skid steer has been a full refresh, brand new skid steer basically. All maintenance done, tracks, everything, right? So this whole setup right here, I mean, depending on who you are and how lazy you are, or how not lazy you are, <laughs> how motivated you are, you can make yourself probably four times this setup's worth in a year if you decide to figure it out. And the cool part is you probably need a t-shirt, you probably need a hoodie, you probably need a product, a coffee mug, whatever, like you're gonna go buy something Anywhere, why would you not buy it on Old Boss's website for the same quality, if not better, and then you can enter a win for that? So the, the thing with old, the Old Boss Supply Call giveaways is they're not just here's a really cool truck, leave. <laughs> here's a cool truck, have fun, you want it, go fuck yourself. Like, it's not how this works, right? So, <laughs> I, I can say that other people do give stuff away, but no one gives away what we give away. We give away an opportunity, and it's not just the setup, it's hey man, if you were to win this, we could help you get an LLC, start a business, and create opportunity to change you and your entire family's life. Not just because you won this. Like, that's already going to change your life. But I'm saying past that shit. Like, this could be a life-changing thing for whoever's involved in your life because then you can go on and hire them and start doing a bunch of other crazy, unique business adventures. But you have to have the mind to do it and the willpower to do it. And you also have to take the risk to do it, which is the risk for you is, like, stupid easy in my opinion because I've never been able to, to get... I, I can't win my own setups, right? But like, if I were to see this, I'd be like, dude, I buy a hoodie. I'm gonna go buy a hoodie anyways at TJ Maxx for damn near the same price, and I can win this. It's kind of like a no-brainer. Like, I don't. I'm not trying to be a pushy salesman. Like, I don't. Don't get into it if you don't want to. But you got to think about what the opportunity available right now is. Like, you can take this truck, dump the machine off of it, call, make a fake Facebook post on Marketplace and say, hey. Take a snap, one picture of it, machine rental, 200 bucks a day. Don't care. So who cares how cheap it is you're making? You got it for free. Or say you bought it for $30 because you bought a t-shirt or whatever, right? And then you take your trailer and you start hot chatting shit across the country with your freaking truck that has 50,000 miles on it. And run the truck up till 400,000 miles and then dump it because you already made enough money. It doesn't, like, do you see what I'm saying? There's any way you want to play it, there's opportunity available. So, if you want to get turned and win this entire set behind me, plus $30,000 in cash, Go on the website omosfago.com, swipe up. No, this isn't a swipe up actually. This is a link. Yep. A YouTube video. Dang man. Hit the link in the description, boys. Check it out. Go shopping. If you're gonna buy clothes, like just buy them from a boss and get entered. Peace out, boys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, say what's up, and let us know in the comments what do you guys think about the big wheel and tire combo and the bobcat. Because I'm really curious if you guys like the bobcat or not. So thanks for watching, boys. Peace out, get entered.